Margin call. What is that? Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez, CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale. And today we're back with another installment of What is that? Where we discuss financial term and topics you may have heard, but we make them super easy to understand. Today, we're talking about margin calls, which has everything to do with your investing portfolio and your margin account. So if you've heard this term before or want to learn more, tune in and let's start right at the beginning. Margin call. What is that? To understand what a margin call is, we have to first understand what a margin account is. A margin account is a brokerage account in which the broker lends the customer cash in order to invest in financial products such as stocks or bonds. The loan in the account is collateralized by the securities themselves and any related cash in the account and comes with a periodic interest rate. Because the customer is essentially investing with borrowed money, the use of this leverage can either magnify profits or losses. If an investor purchases stock using margin funds and that stock appreciates beyond the interest of the margin fund, the investor experiences a better return than if they would have invested in the stock directly with their own cash. This is the advantage of using margin funds. On the downside, this brokerage firm is charging interest throughout the entire time the loan is outstanding. So if the value of the stock goes down, not only will the investor experience a loss by the value having gone down on the stocks, but they will also have to pay the related interest. Now here is where a margin call comes into play. If a margin account drops below the minimum maintenance level, that is, the minimum balance that must be maintained in this account, the brokerage will make a margin call. The margin call means the brokerage firm has put the investor on notice that they have three days or sometimes less to either sell stock or deposit more cash in order to get the minimum maintenance of the account to its balance. A brokerage firm actually has the right to ask the customer to increase their minimum maintenance on a margin account. They also have the right to sell the related stock in order to satisfy as much debt as possible if they feel that their own investment is at risk. And lastly, they have the right to sue you if the account remains negative past the related time. In a regular brokerage account, you can never lose more than you've invested. But when you have a margin account, you can lose a lot more than you've put into the account. For these reasons, a margin account is really best suited for a sophisticated investor that understands the risks and requirements of trading with margin accounts. Remember to always speak to your financial advisor or CPA when you're investing, especially with a margin account. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.